But what mobile mapping really does is it digitally records uh, every mole that's bigger than a pencil eraser, which is like four or five millimeters in size, uh, on a patient's body. And not only does it record it, but it maps it on the body so we know the exact location. So over a period of time, uh, we can re-look um, at that lesion uh, with uh, uh, digital imaging and see if it's changed at all. We can see minute changes in the melanoma. So for instance, if it gets uh, bigger or if it becomes more asymmetric or that it becomes, God forbid, ulcerated, that sort of thing, we know immediately that this is a mole that's undergone change that may in fact be malignant. And the old way to do it was to take a bunch of photographs and of moles that you're worried about. But that's sort of hit and miss. This is a systematized sy a system that looks at every area on the body. And we can actually go right back to that mole, the same mole, in a year's time to look at it again. So it really is a very um, excellent way, in my opinion, to follow a patient who has many, many moles and uh, can't look at them all, they're on their back, they're on their legs, you know, that sort of thing. So it's a way to really efficiently and effectively follow every mole that's bigger than four or five millimeters, which is the, are the moles we worry about. And if there's any change, it could be biopsied. Now, in fact, there's a step further. Uh, those um, uh, images are now uh, computerized on a system called Watson, which converts all those moles, mole pictures, to uh, ones and zeros. And now it's on a computer program and has the computer look at it. And if there's any minute change in, the, in this, in, in any mole, it, it's completely picked up, it's immediately picked up by the computer system. So it's sort of an added way. It's called Watson is the, is the name of the system. And we have uh, a um, two, uh, th actually three melanographers who really do the mole mapping. And uh, the report is given directly to the patient and to the referring physician. It should be checked once a year. And, pa and if the patient notices anything different within that year's time, they should immediately see their dermatologist. Uh, the best candidates are uh, uh, fair skin, blonde, blue-eyed, people who spent a lot of time in the sun and have sun damage. Uh, 